Oh, that's not a big deal, I imagine. He doesn't know that many elected officials. You know, he grew up in our home. Senators, governors, mayors sat at our table for meals on Shabbos. He doesn't know elected officials. You think it's not complicated to get to know elected officials? You're going to be nice to Yoni when he gets elected. <laughs> yes? You're going to be, of course she'll be nice. Once he's elected, she'll be very nice to him, and so will every other elected official. I never knew that one of the qualifications is knowing a lot of elected officials. You think it's so complicated to, complicated to figure this out? Yeah, you need to really care deeply. It's not about good guys and bad guys, and it's not about intimidating people, threatening people. None of that goes on, of course, in our community. You think anybody is being intimidated? You want to listen to videos? You want to listen to voice recordings of people getting phone calls, being threatened? Would you like to? I try to stay away from it. I know it's a very serious thing in, in Judaism to speak evil, to be mean-spirited, to undermine, to attack someone because they're not married, because they don't have a Yiddish upon them. That was an ad in the newspaper, in the Yiddish uh, papers. The headline was that one particular candidate sitting here has a a Haimish Someone said to me, that's anti-Semitic. To do something like that is a horrible thing. But that was the ad in the Yiddish papers. By the way, not in Hamadiyya. We're voting for someone because they have a Haimish By the way, am I Haimish enough for you guys? After 35 years? Am I losing the next election? By the way, are any of these candidates Haimish? You know what Haimish means? You gotta have a certain look. Do I have the look? Kalman has the look. Sometimes, sometimes not. By the way, if I was voting on that basis, I would vote for Kalman. He has more experience in politics.